Let's read source 5 for the Colonial Women Investigation. It's titled, An Indentured Servant's Complaint by Elizabeth Spriggs. But first, let's look at the central question, because that's our purpose for reading this source. Was there a common experience for women in colonial North America? Now I'm going to read the attribution and then the headnote, because that's where you learn what type of source this is and who wrote it, when it was written, and why it was written. Attribution. Letter written by Elizabeth Spriggs to her father in 1756. Adapted from the book Colonial Captivities, Marches and Journeys. Edited by Isabel Calder and published in 1935. Pages 151 and 152. Headnote. Hundreds of thousands of indentured servants arrived in the colonies before 1776. Servants faced hard conditions and physical punishment. Elizabeth Spriggs was a young European woman. She was sent to Maryland as an indentured servant by her father as punishment for bad conduct and undutifulness. I'm going to pause here, take a moment to respond to these questions about the headnote and attribution in your packet. So pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, now I'm going to read the source. Let's read this letter from Elizabeth Spriggs to her father. To Mr. John Spriggs, White Smith. Maryland, September 22nd, 1756. Honored Father, Since I am forever banished, which means not allowed, to see you, I hope you will forgive the boldness, which means courage, I now take to write to you. My long silence has been because of my undutifulness to you. O oh, dear Father, I am going to write the words of truth. Then I am sure you will feel sorry for your unhappy daughter. You in England cannot believe how much we unfortunate English people suffer here. I am one of the unhappy number, working very hard, almost day and night. And then I am tied up and whipped in ways you would not treat an, al you would not treat an animal. I only eat corn and salt. Even many Negroes are treated better. I have few clothes and do not have shoes or stockings to wear. We can only wrap ourselves up in a blanket and lie on the ground. This is the awful condition your poor Betty lives in. And now I beg if you have any kindness, please send me some help. I most need clothing. I conclude in duty to you and uncles and aunts. Your undutiful child, Elizabeth Spriggs. Now, go back and read the source yourself. And pause after each sentence to think about what people and institutions are actors in the source and what is the relationship between those people and institutions. And also think about what parts of the source tell you what the author or people in the text think, want, or experience? 